Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. The weekly vlog is starting in a different spot in the gym. Y'all know I'm trying to get my health journey going. Literally, I just did the bike for like six minutes. Had to get off because my thighs were burning. I'm gonna do like a little run warm up and then we're gonna do this machine, the Smith machine, because if you want a booty, you do this. That's a blue slush. Oh, this is the Whitney Simmons. Oh, that's cute. The Alani New Blue Slush Energy Drink. I see Alani New sending people some shit. I bought this with my own money at Walmart. Okay, I wanted to see what the hype was about. These are very good. I like this. This is the Blue Slush one. The other day I had, what I have? I had the Addison Ray one. It's got tons of like vitamins and stuff in it. I don't know. It gives me a much better workout that I could do honestly by myself. Get on this mother freaking treadmill. Ugh. And get this workout on and popping. Take it. I live a lot of zeros, but I don't fuck with no losers. Yeah. Two type of people in this world, and I'm a chooser. Post workout lunch, a little salad with some chicken. The chicken is interesting. It's like breaded with the cauliflower. What is this? Cauliflower something? It's supposed to be like spicy cauliflower chicken tenders. Got a little protein shake. It's strawberry banana blueberry what else is in there spinach almond milk and almond butter ah, okay that's way too high what the what the floating head hi check my lip out i wasn't sure if i was gonna like a matte lip or a glossy lip so i brought gloss over here and i knew i was right hey i'm so freaking excited that we have a try on haul to do right now so a shout out to princess polly for sponsoring this portion of today's video so i'm so excited for the pieces that i got oh my god this is actually probably my favorite haul i've ever done ever let's get right into it i'm feeling myself today i got on my jewelry if you see some red spots in my hair i'm okay i am i am well i like redid it and so there is like a few splotches it'll come out once i wash my hair but i'm gonna start with this dress because the their stuff is just such good quality. Like you're really paying for the quality of clothing. Mm-hmm. This color's just gonna do it for me every single time. You guys can't really see what's going on, so I'm gonna insert the try-on part of it. But look at the back, so gorgeous. It has a beautiful like slit on the leg. I'm wanting something for my birthday because I think we're gonna go out to dinner. I wanted like a casual, nice, but still like luxurious, elegant dress for my birthday. I found it, bitch. It looks so good. And it makes my back tattoo look really good, too. I was like looking at it, and I was like, I'm weird about my back tattoo because it's uh, uh, crooked. It's peace. I think the colors in this are so beautiful. When I put it on, I was like, oh, this is the moment. She is the vibe. It's just like a little mini dress. Definitely something that I can get away with wearing right now. I know a lot of people are still in winter, but here in Florida, yeah, bitch, it's hot. You loving me? I used to be so into dressing up. Even like a couple years ago, I used to really put in a lot of energy to what I was going to wear like out to run errands. Now I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I look like Shrek. I think when you like don't feel your best, it's kind of like, I don't know, that like vibe is kind of with you through the whole day. So I need more everyday type of pieces. I've been on the hunt for like easy, nice sets that you can like dress up, you can dress down. Got this set, it's like a waffle type material matching sweats i just think that this is so cute the quality on these sweats so good this dress <laughs> since my birthday is coming up i was like okay i want an outfit for dinner and then i want an outfit for like going out on the town because i'm getting crunk this year no like nobody understands i have hated birthdays forever I genuinely just want to enjoy it and celebrate me because i never ever have i've always had a weird problem with birthdays i got this beautiful dress to go out on the town i love this i love everything about it like a black dress is just such a good staple i'm going to hang it up in a special place in my closet my closet is actually color coded now yes you girls get crazy just color coding things like on a whole new level of organization i was in high school sweaters were my jam and then i just stopped wearing them forever now i'm getting back into them and this is so beautiful i don't really like a clunky sweater just because i feel like it doesn't go with my body shape like everybody knows like what kind of 
looks good on them. And for me personally, I love a, I love a form-fitting sweater. <laughs> she looks so good. So I got some pants to match the sweater that I just showed you guys. Unfortunately, they do not button. They're just these like trouser slack pants. And I get a little carried away like thinking stuff is gonna fit. I ordered them in a size 12. My butt is the way that it is. I couldn't button it. Like I just couldn't get it. And I got this. I... First of all, I'm loving green lately. I don't know if it was dyeing my hair red that all of a sudden I'm obsessed with green. I just have no word. <laughs> like, please, I wanna sleep in this. I just have an obsession with jackets, puffer jackets especially. It says Polly. They have some of the best jackets. Last thing I got in this haul is my favorite bag. <laughs> Look at how cute. Comes with this to like on the strap. I'm the brightness down, I feel like you can't really see. Oh, that's up, okay. This is the bag, I put the little pouch back on so you guys could see what it looks like, like with and without. I like it with and without the pouch. Like I feel like it would just depend on my vibe if I wanted to keep it on or take it off. So cute, it's definitely my new favorite purse. I wish they had these in more colors because I checked, I was like, I need to order another one. I like turned on the lighting so you can really see the details on here. Can you just imagine me? It's so cute. What I love about Princess Polly, honestly and truly, they have something for everybody. Everything, the coupon code, the links, everything will be down in the description below. I'll also paste my code here on the screen. It is Ashley Ray for 20% off. Thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this portion of the vloggy vlog. Now let's get back to the vlog. You wanna cover my ear for Yesterday was a day. I was wanting to vlog, but I didn't. Yesterday I had to go to urgent care because for the past month, I've been having this ringing in my ear ringing fullness i'll put a q-tip in my ear and the next day i'll have to use another one because my ear is full of fluid and earwax it's honestly like the most weird experience i thought i was having like an ear infection or a sinus infection so i go to urgent care and i'm like oh god like what is this she's gonna tell me right now she looks at my ears she's like you have beautiful ears like they literally have no wax in them or anything tell me why i paid 40 dollars for this to tell me that i have allergies it was prescribed me that i get some nasal spray I thought there was something seriously wrong with me. I guess what she said is I have a station tube dysfunction. Honestly, what else is wrong with me? <laughs> station tube dysfunction? I don't even know if that's how you say it. I got ETD. <laughs> Spray the stuff up my nose and it literally smells like fucking Raid. It smells like, is Raid the ant killer? It smells like bug killer. Basically, what is wrong with me is that my tubes that go from here to my ears, <laughs> were so blocked that it was causing me to have like literally causing me to like lose my hearing my tubes were so clogged that when i would lay down in bed and turn to the other side my head would get so dizzy and i told her that i was like i'm getting dizzy too like, she's like that's because your sinuses are literally so blocked that it's all connected i know the body was like some crazy shit, but like the way that everything connects oh it had me shook in my nasal night spray you guys are probably like we literally don't give a fuck Anyways, I thought that was interesting, so I just wanted to share it. <laughs> I'm gonna do my nasal spray. Whew. I still have some leftover crumbles. Look at my crumbles. Look, from literally like a couple days ago, they do last pretty long. The fruity pebble one was pretty good. See that one? I just keep coming out with good cookies, and there's something about these cookies that i have to try the new ones like every single week like i literally go every single week but to me you know what i've learned about this whole like weight loss journey weight loss experience is all food is is good food you know if you're putting food in your body it's it's good it's just in the moderation in which we eat it if i want something and i'm having a craving like girl, i'm gonna eat it you know what i'm doing going to the gym eating broccoli and shit eating rabbit food bitch that's healthy but you know what this is also healthy too right it's all about balance like to me i feel like you can't have one without the other so that's what i've really been learning and really embracing 
embracing that. I think when I was like getting into it, I was like, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. And I was like so excited. And I was like, I'm gonna count my calories. I'll tell you that that lasted like four days, five days of me counting my calories. And then I was like, bitch, I literally can't do that anymore. Like there's literally just no way. I'm just not the type of person that can sit there and chart out every single calorie that I put into my body. I just wanna make sure that I'm putting nutritional things in my body when i was tracking the calories i wasn't like obsessed with it but i felt like if i keep going down the road that i'm going on of sitting here tracking my calories it's not going to be good for me it's not going to be good like mentally so i feel like counting calories is it's kind of a scary game to play if you're not somebody who's mentally prepared to do that i just feel like it's not a good idea like for me i was just like oh no like this is not for me even though i was seeing a lot of really good results with counting my calories i was like this is like gonna f me up in my head in the long run and i prioritize my mental health over my physical health but yeah i'd rather just like be happy mentally and not i don't know like be so obsessive and worry about that then focus on how many calories i'm putting in my body what the hell is that it looks like a fucking poof like love you guys okay i need you guys to tell me if this camera quality got better or worse because i can't really tell but this is a brand new it's a really old camera like this is my camera from 2017 from like old driving videos but it's a brand new lens so i need y'all to tell me is it did the quality get better or did it get worse because i'm not sure but my canon the usual camera that i use my g7x it just like wasn't giving when i was sitting editing the videos i was like why is this camera quality so shit like i don't know what happened to it but it just started looking bad really bad to me so i was like okay i'm not with that anymore i think last time we talked talking to you guys about my sinus problem oh my god i feel so much better my ears are clear i was having so much ear pain and yeah i guess i just have really bad allergies to the point where i like get dizzy and my ears hurt i'm at starbucks i'm so hungry i'm like starving and a little bit thirsty the song is good i know i would like it though i love coila ray i don't know why people like are so mean to her wait you guys there was a shooting in my apartment building last night oh not last night the night before wait what night was that wednesday night wednesday night there was a shooting i can't believe i didn't hear it said they think it's like the people knew each other it wasn't like a random act of like violence or whatever but i'm like i'm sorry what I like sent out an email like you're gonna send out an email, bitch, to tell us that there's been a fucking shooting? Hey guys, just let everybody know there was a fucking murder last night. I think the person is okay, but it's like, they said it was like inside, but it's like where? It was in the lobby? Like, I'm not gonna be going in any common areas where the shooting was. I'm not trying to get got, bitch. You guys, you know, I've expressed my problems with uh, my fear of dying. Watching on Netflix, oh my God, I used to be obsessed with him, and I'm so glad that he has a Netflix show now. It's t the Tyler, is it Tyler? Hmm, it's Tyler Henry, I think. Why did I want to say Tyler Perry? I'm watching the Tyler Henry medium. And I think it's so interesting that he's like able to rely messages to people about like loved ones. Got my drink. I got the toasted vanilla oat milk espresso because you know how I feel about the brown sugar espresso. It's very, very good. So a lot of people hate this. I heard a lot of people say they hate it. I don't think it's bad. It's kind of good it's like an acquired taste though i think that's the reason why but it's good to me i don't know what is an ashley vlog without target haul I enjoy the videos where i get to bring you guys inside because it feels like we're there together we're shopping together so here's my list it's really not that bad like it's actually not bad at all there's some random stuff on here that i'm like girl you don't need that like are you okay main thing i want to make spaghetti tacos later yes Yes, yes. We're watching iCarly, you know what I'm talking about. The iconic fucking spaghetti tacos. Because I guess they made a new season. I was like stalking Marina Cosgrove. For how obsessed I was with that show, why have I never tried spaghetti tacos? Why have I never made this? This is something that I need to make immediately. So I wrote down spaghetti. I have taco shells. And then later, I think we're going out like on the town, which is crazy because I don't ever go out. I'm very much a homebody. I feel like if you watch my videos, you know I'm always at home. I genuinely don't like going out okay let me not say that because i i enjoy going out but i don't like going out and like 
partying like I feel like I've lived through that phase in my life and I'm kind of over it you know like I would rather sit at home with my dogs snuggle do a face mask like they were going out with like some friends but yeah that should be fun and then later I want to get um a shamrock shake shamrock shakes back at McDonald's if you never had a shamrock shake, I've actually tried to put some people on and they hated it, but most people I put on love it. I've had some haters, okay, but the shamrock shake at McDonald's, iconic. I will get it every single year, and I actually didn't get it last year. Usually I get it on my birthday, so I'm making it a point to f***ing get it. There's a lot of stuff we need to do today. I gotta clean my showers because they are getting so dingy. Mm, not cute. Let me tell you guys something. Living with a man, yeah, it's an interesting experience. It's different i think i didn't even realize how it's not bad like let me say it's not this is not like in a bad way but i think i didn't realize how much living with somebody like bringing somebody into your space throws off your whole routine throws off your whole system so i'm really trying to like get back into a routine waking up early i've been so good about bringing my bags these are my favorite bags ever they're from Publix. They're like the canvas bags. They get dirty really easily, but they are so good. I really want to get a Target bag, but they just don't have any cute ones. Like Target, who is in trouble? The bags that they are selling are just so ugly. I'm no design artiste, but like, bitch, baby, I could be. Make sure I have my keys because I don't trust anything anymore. I'm like, damn, a shooting in my building. Bitch is shooting out here. I think all women should carry pepper spray in a knife. If not more than that, but I can't really say that on this channel because they wanted to take shit. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted was some new pajamas, but their pajamas are just not, the pajama section is not giving. I found this, which I really like, but they don't have it in an extra large, and my chicken wings will not fit in this. Fuzzy sets are kind of cute. These are kind of cute. It's giving like skims, but the material, I don't know that I love it. It's cute though cute for like an outfit see these are the pajamas that I already have and I wanted another set like this but they just don't have any colors I had like a pink color that I liked but the, the pants were like um how do you say like gauchos like <laughs> capris Bonnie calm infusions I think I'm gonna grab this one it smells really good grabbing laundry stain remover because I literally stain everything I own all my sweatshirts and everything somebody to follow on Instagram said that they like this so getting that bleach to clean my shower actually I wanted to see if they had soft scrub here. washing machine cleaner and my washing machine is starting to smell musty and I was watching this video of this girl and she said if your washing machine is starting to smell musty you need to get a washing machine cleaner so this is for that. It only comes with five tablets. Bitch, I have to do the value pack. Never ever use this, but everybody says that this is like so good for the shower. So this is what I'm getting. Okay, I made it to the baby section. I need like better blushables. Switch to my phone because my camera, I don't know how to work the brightness. So, Sherman flushable wipes. I finally found the flushable wipes. It's with the toilet paper, who knew? And then I wanted to try these dude wipes. And they're always sold out at Walmart, so I figured they were good. I don't know, I'm gonna try them. I got a bunch of eye patches, men's razors, Dove for like a travel thing. I wanna put it, be able to put it in my purse and in my car, and it's really tiny and cute. So I thought that would be cute for like travel. I need hangers so bad. So I don't know how many, how many comes in a pack of these? These are so inexpensive and they really don't look bad in the closet to be honest. How many packs should I get? Maybe three? I think three will be good. Target home. All right, should I start with the cleaning stuff or the fun stuff? Stuff, then the oh my god, cleaning stuff, then the fun stuff. Some downy calm infusions, lavender and vanilla bean. I wanted to get fragrance boosters, but I thought that this would be better because it's fabric conditioner and it smells good. So I got some Clorox. I never got this one before. This is the Fresh Meadow. It's bleach, so I'm sure it stinks and it doesn't even smell good. But they have scented 
bleach, which I didn't even know. Soft scrub cleanser. I never use this. I'm gonna use it today and see what it's giving. I got this because I don't have a stain remover. Spray and wash and I literally stain everything. I got some stains to get out. Washing machine cleaner. I'm actually gonna throw one of these in here right now because I wanna see if it works. Oh, that smells like poo. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sanitize in there. I'll let y'all know how that goes. Gas X. I was gonna get Tums, cause Tums has a gas one, but they were all out. Everybody's got gas, everybody's got gas, I guess. <laughs> okay, I got gas X for my gas. That's really self-explanatory. But I've been having freaking gas clappers all night long. <laughs> so I had some Charmin flushable wipes. Flushable wipes is next to the toilet paper, not with the regular wipes. And the dude wipes, which I've been wanting to get, but they've been sold out at Walmart. This is fragrance free with vitamin E and aloe. Eye patches, because I've been wanting eye patches and I just haven't, I prefer them in like the little container, but I haven't gone to Sephora to get some. So I got all the Pacifica ones, like literally all the ones that they had. Anti-puff, a hydration, and then a vitamin C. I got this vitamin C serum. I've been wanting this. Ooh, that's so cute. Out of my Cer CeraVe one. CeraVe, CeraVe, then that's the best, like, inexpensive one. So I want to try a La Roche Posay one because this is my favorite. They just make the best skincare. One of my videos, I was talking about, I was literally talking about getting a men's trimmer to do my pubes. Literally make a women's trimmer. I have to see this. I'm sorry. I need to open this up. Oh, my God. Who are they trying to keep this from? Okay, well, I can't take it back now. I have to figure out it's like a lot smaller than I think I thought it was I got these little refillable deodorants which I'm also gonna open right now what actually prompted me to get this was I seen a video of this girl and she was out somewhere and she they like caught her on camera sniffing her armpits they put this poor girl on the jumbotron you know like at a sports game where they put you on the like the cameras the jumbotron they literally had this girl on the jumbotron sniffing her armpits and then putting them down I know she was so embarrassed. To bring, like you can shove it in a bag, you can keep it in the car, like just a mini deodorant. I've seen these and I always thought they were cute, but today was the day that I actually got one. That is coconut and pink jasmine. So, I don't know, I don't know that I like that scent. I don't know, it was the only one that they had, so hopefully it's good. Oh yeah. I like that. Put it on here, it comes in like a little case. Okay, dear Lord, please let me read a fucking one instruction in my life. And snap it. Okay. Put your deodorant on like that. Oh, that's so cute. And then you can buy the refills. The only refills I saw was the pink jasmine and the cucumber green tea. Where's my purse? See like. So happy it's like the little things you know our regular razors back to the men's razors uh, the revolution loose setting powder if i don't have a translucent powder or like a setting powder it's like my makeup just turns out not good it cosmetics the bye bye pore powder that one is the best one i've ever used but i just don't feel like going to ulta or sephora or anything like that um if i'm going to target bitch i'm gonna pick it up at target this is the revolution the loose setting powder and i've never used this i really want to make this today because I just want to see if they're good or not. In the closet now, let me shut the door. I wanted to show you guys my color-coded situation. A lot of it is folded, but from, you know, what is hanging up, I did, was able to color coat most of it to my liking. Like, obviously it's not how some people would do it, but how I, I'm sorry. Did you want to come in? I can't have the door open like this, bibbies. I'm sorry. Anyways, I wanted to hang up this Princess Polly stuff that I got. Oh my god, I can't wait to style this. It's going to be so cute. So I have some of these velvet and gold hangers, which I'm going to use first. And then I'll start using these because I don't mind these, but these are more sturdy. So I prefer them, you know. I actually have a lot of these in storage. So I'm just like, why do I want to keep wasting my money, you know? I choose to waste it on other things, not hangers. <laughs> For me, I did white. Oh, grays go in the front too. Grays, whites. Then it goes the rainbow, you know. Red. Then I got pink, green, 
blue, whatever. Then it goes cream, brown, into black, and then the black that has like color in it. I think people do it a bunch of different ways. I think this is just the way that personally works for me. I always put my sets together on one hanger because I want to be able to find it, you know? I know that there's going to be so much donating going on when I m leave this place. I'm selling all the furniture. I'm donating half of this stuff. <laughs> my lease is coming. It's approaching quickly. It's up in August. April, May, June, July, August. I got five more months in here. It's coming quick, you guys, and well not quick enough i really want to go back to california because i'm worried about my mom obviously that's like my main priority like getting back to her you know making sure she's okay making sure she's got a place to live where she's comfortable and so that's kind of my main concern right now part of me is kind of like the lease can't fucking come soon enough how do i break my lease <laughs> like if i wasn't having those issues with my mom i don't know what i would be doing i think i might move to like another state i like florida but the area that i moved to i think if i moved to like miami it would have been different but the area that i moved to like the specific area not like tampa in general but i just don't feel like safe you want to feel safe like in your own environment so every time you move it's almost like you're allowing yourself to have the creative freedom and ability to like create a beautiful space that works for you i feel like brings more of your manifestations to light because you're you're free you're having like more freedoms less limitations and oh my god there's just something about when you first move into a place the freedom you feel like a motivation that can't be duplicated i don't know how to explain that i need to get these crusty soaps y'all see how many soaps is sitting on here they all just need to go in the like they all need to go in the garbage because why are you holding on to this what's the reason <laughs> what is this gonna give you well i can put my new soaps out here see like that i always have like four soaps on this little rack and i know i have another soap up here see always have some soaps and i know what every single soap does i know that that might seem crazy to people a lot of people are like that's so much soap that's so much excess like what's wrong with you why would you buy that much soap i use i don't ever buy more than i can't use a lot of times there are products that i end up not liking and i just give them away to people that want them this stuff okay it's got hair on it that's fucking disgusting this method daily shower cleaner i love the smell of it they changed the formula though so it doesn't smell as good as it used to, but it still smells really good. Daily shower spray, I love it. I don't use it every single time, but I do like the deep conditioner on my hair or something that's gonna like leave a sticky residue. I'll spray the spray on the shower and it keeps it clean and I love the smell of it. Like I said, it smells so freaking good. We're gonna clean this shower, baby. It's like, let me show y'all the ground. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I wish I had a time machine. So, okay, that's a way to do it. Yes. Make sure we get that corner. Okay. That looks like enough. the beefier one exactly what i thought it would taste like corn with the spaghetti is like a good mix it tastes interesting mm. flavors are melting on my tongue i think i ate out of ten 